In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite Cover 4 beaters in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. Like I said, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now the play we're going to be going over is out of the Carolina Playbook Gun Bunch Offset PA Dig Fork. And if you've not already picked up my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's on sale for just $15. There's a link in the description where you can go get it. But real quick, I wanted to let you know that it's not just a guide about the Seattle Playbook. It's actually a guide that covers Gun Bunch. So it covers Gun Bunch from multiple different playbooks. We're going to be adding an update today from the Washington playbook. We added a major update yesterday from the Carolina playbook. We've already got a ton of content on the Seattle playbook. So my point is you can take this and apply this to any Gun Bunch that you want to run. So let's say you want to run the Indianapolis Gun Bunch. Well, it's very similar to the Carolina Gun Bunch, and we're breaking down the Indianapolis Gun Bunch. So my point is just to say it's not just a Seattle Bunch guide. It is a Gun Bunch guide that covers all of the Gun Bunch because the Gun Bunch is the best offense in the game this year. And so um, we're trying to cover it in as deep of a way as we possibly can for you. So we've got several hours of breakdowns in that guide and more on the way. And also... If anything gets patched over the course of the whole season, you're paying for one one time. So it's just one time purchase of $15. We're going to update this for you over the course of the whole season. So you're going to get access to updates. If there's a patch, you get access to the update. Um, that's kind of how my approach is to this this year with the gun bunch. So that being said, if you want to get the guide, there's a link in the description. All right, let's go over match coverage first. Uh, cover four quarters. And the adjustment is really simple, okay? We're really simplifying this down because we want to be able to ideally uh, quick snap, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a streak, and then we're going to put the tight end on a delay fade, and that's it. That's it. And what you'll see here is that the uh, circle receiver will cook max match coverage over the top for a one play score every single time really simple really easy and really effective now i will also tell you that this will actually let me just send some pressure out of this 335 wide i'm going to send a five-man blitz i'm going to send the five-man blitz that you've probably seen with the pinch linebackers and everything right but what i want you to notice is that when you put the tight end on a delay fade out of the gun bunch he does an incredible job of blocking so that's all I have to do. And I'm going to pick up every major blitz in the game just by blocking that tight end right there. Of course, I say that I get screamed at. Typically, that linebacker is obviously not going to come through, um, especially if they're using him. But I do want to show that one more time because he does typically pick that up. That was a little bit of a fluke. Uh, but anyways, let me just go back to that same blitz. And we're just crashing our line down, containing, pinching the linebackers. And then you'll see here, watch how this works. There he gets picked up, and you see circle is even more wide open than he was on the play before. Okay, the reason why is because the tight end delay fade from Gun Bunch is so good this year because he blocks every major blitz. They can't blitz you if they if you do that one adjustment, and you still can attack the flats. That's what I love about this play. Now the cool part is uh, real quick. It's not just a cover four beater. I do want to show this. Um, if they run cover three on you. Uh, you're still going to cook cover three. So that was Mike Blitz three. And as you see there, I'm still cooking Mike Blitz three. So one play touchdown against Mike Blitz three, one play touchdown against cover four uh, drop or cover four show two. So now let's go over cover four drop. Uh, cover four drop is a defense that is growing in popularity. The primary reason why is because people don't really know what else to call. They've tried cover three, they've tried cover two, they've tried match coverage. None of it's worked. So they go to this. Um, this cover four drop will not stop this. This is one of the best cover four drop beaters in Madden. You'll see here again, circle. Once he gets even, he's leaving, passing him to the right. And as you see there, as long as I don't get that terrible animation on the sideline, I'm going to be able to get a one play score every single time. So let me show this um, one more time against cover four drop. So you see it's not a fluke. 
And again, all you need is a little bit of time. That's why I like to delay fade the tight end. So as long as you pick up the blitz, you're going to have a touchdown every single time. Most of the time, they're not going to go user him. I guarantee you, unless they really have awareness of like what you're doing, they're not going to go user him. And as you can see, we're beating them over the top every single time for a one play touchdown against that coverage. Now, I want to show this against a couple other coverages. One of the favorite ones that I like is cover zero man. So cover zero man, this is something you get a lot. This guy can't possibly user it. I mean, it's very difficult for him to user it. He's going to want to go guard, you know, something else. And if you fade R1, it does sometimes get R1 open. But anyways, let me show you this against man. You'll see here that circle, just passing him to the left, click on. And Davis, now I will say in regs, it's not as good because, because uh, Davis has, or the, because they, you don't have any abilities. That's the one problem with regs is there's no abilities on receivers uh, like short in the lead or something like that. Whereas in Mutt, if you've got a player with route tech or something like that or uh, deep in elite or whatever, you're going to be able to cook this over the top. Route, even short in elite actually typically will beat that over the top. And like I said, you know, typically they're not going to run through the middle like that with their user but I'm just trying to show the blitz. It's getting a little fluky here in practice mode. But again, the reason I like this PA dig fork play is because it normally just cooks. It cooks cover four, it cooks cover three, but you also get great pass protection. And then this is what I'm saying right there. So you see there, he cooks the man coverage. And then I want to show an instant replay what happens with the slot receiver. So the slot receiver is also, especially if you think it's man, if you think it's man coverage, I would highly push you to put him on a fade instead of just a traditional streak. And what you'll see is the fade often will get this little natural pick action. And as you can see right here, we're cooking both. We're on both sides beating man to man over the top. So the real only true way that they can defend this is to go with too high, whether it be cover to man or uh, Tampa two. Those are the two coverages that are going to, I think that are going to slow this down. It doesn't stop it. It slows it down. Um, and so what that means is you're going to say here, so here's cover to man. And I just want to show you here if I wait on this. And again, I couldn't cause I got uh, shedded. But let me show you this real quick against cover two man because you will see cover two man. I guarantee you will. Um, I guarantee you will. So cover two man, it's going to take the running back route really well. If you want to put the tight end on a delayed drag as a bailout against man, you can. The delayed drag will beat man. The delayed fade won't this year. But anyways, if you take a look, you got your dig route against man. But watch this circle receiver. If you wait on this and wait on it and wait on it, the deep half will sometimes let you get that to the sideline. Didn't get it right there, but sometimes he will. Now let's go over Tampa 2 real quick, just because I want you to see the different coverages that we can have on this. Now Tampa 2, um, you're going to be able to check down to a lot of things. You're going to have your delay fade. You're going to have your in route. You're going to have your flat route to the running back. All of those things, right? But now you see, watch this deep half. He is nowhere near as good in cover 2 as he is in cover 2 man. So you can actually typically actually hit that on that sideline the other thing that you can so but really cover two is kind of the answer now the one thing i will also want to hit on just really briefly is the corner route that you can run so if you want to let's say you're suspicious they may not be in cover four you can leave the corner route to the r1 receiver if you leave that corner route to the r1 receiver he will beat it almost he'll beat man almost every single time and then again zone now you have a natural high low on that side so let's say you get tampa two called now you've got a delay fade you've got a and then you've got your corner flat concept and it makes it super easy but all you do is just pass lead that up against cover two as you see so that's one little thing that you can do and i will tell you that i have found that it, it still will cook a lot it, it's not as good without that streak but it still does a pretty good job so let me show you match coverage real quick what you'll see here is you'll see he gets double teamed he still beats it but he does get double teamed um against the match coverage without that fade so anyways those are some ways you can run this play thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it this is one of the best bomb plays this year um it really is one of those plays i think that takes bunch to a whole new level um and especially if you have hot route master you could put a skinny post on the left side uh for other setups it makes the Carolina playbook so much fun and so very effective. So if you want to learn how to run the Carolina bunch or the Seattle bunch or the Indianapolis bunch or the Washington bunch, 
or any of the gun bunches this year, I would encourage you to go ahead and pick up my full ebook on it. We're breaking down every single uh, major playbook, every single major bunch scheme. So if you want to get access to all of it, there's a link in the description. You can get the full guide with updates and everything for just $15. It's a one-time purchase, and you get the guide for the whole season. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later.